Well, hello there, everyone. How are you doing today? My name is Robert, and what are we doing? We are talking about five ways to spice up a guitar lick for you. So I've got a single lick here that we're just going to kind of take it in a bunch of different directions and you know hopefully get those creative juices kind of flowing be like oh yeah you know what i have licks that i use all the time but i could kind of do this with it oh and it's like a new lick all of a sudden so uh these are um, i think they're really useful tips and we'll just kind of go from there now make sure you hit the subscribe button new videos all the time on the channel so make sure you go crazy on the subscribe button wherever it happens to be <laughs> in the video and uh we're just gonna go ahead and jump on into this one and get working on these ways to spice up our guitar licks all right, so let's get going, shall we? So basically, here's our lick. You know, um, we're gonna be going like this. So first off, we gotta learn the lick. We're gonna be going eight, pull off five on the high string. Then you're gonna go eight, pull off five on the B, and hammer back on to that five, or back to eight. So then you're gonna go to five on the high. And I'm going back to the B, and I'm going eight, pull off five. So. We have that much going on. And that's just our staple leg. Now notice there's a lot of pull-offs and hammer-ons in there. Once you have that down, then we're gonna go ahead and get on into example number one. So example number one, the way to spice things up is to physically just play it differently. So that one had some hammer-ons and pull-offs in there. What I'm gonna try to do now is I'm going to pick everything. So it's the exact same lick, no hammer-ons and pull-offs. It's gonna have a much more aggressive sound to it this time though, because I'm picking everything. So we're gonna go. So that's the first example. Like I said, just sit there and work on picking. Maybe you want to do all legato. Maybe you know, maybe you're originally picking it all, and you want to add some hammer-ons and pull-offs. That's a great way to do it as well. This one just happened to work this way. So once you know your scales, it's pretty easy to move these looks around. So you just take the overall pattern and move it to a new spot and, you know, kind of like adjust the shape to fit the new area of the scale. So we have this one. Now I'm going to move up to box number two of our pentatonic scale and we're going to go like this. We're going to go 10 pull off 8. And we go 10 pull off 8 on the beat. Pair back on 10. And back to 8 on the high string. And then 10 pull off 8 on the beat. So so we have that much now. We're gonna move up one more time. We're gonna go 12 to 10, and 13, 10 on the beat. 10, 13, 10. So we have. Just moving it around, whole new life has been brought into that riff. Now for the next example is don't play on the strings that are right next to each other. So, you know, we have this uh, bad habit, a lot of, you know, myself included, have this habit of thinking that we have to, you know, we're just crossing strings. That's really where it ends. But what I found is I love string skipping. So it gives you a whole new dynamic and these, you know, it drastically changes the intervals between the notes and it really, really can make a, like an old lick sound new. So we're gonna go like this. <laughs> What I'm doing here is I'm going 8 pull off 5 on the high E string. Then I'm going to go 7 pull off 5 on the B, or on the G. So I'm skipping the B and going to the G. Okay, then back to the high E string, 5th fret. So. Then I go back to the G, 7 pull off 5 to end. Same pattern as before, but you really got to get used to skipping that extra string. Alrighty, what's next on the agenda? Well, what we're doing now is we're changing scales. So I'm gonna take the same pattern, but we're not gonna do it in pentatonic anymore. We're actually gonna do it in this harmonic minor kind of vibe. So we're gonna go in like this. So what I'm doing is I'm going eight, pull off seven on the high E string. Then I go to the B string, and it's going to be 10, 9, 10. 
Then I go back to that seven on the high string. And then I go t uh, ten plus nine on the G or on the B. So now it really does sound different. And like you know, I mean, they all have sounded different, but this one to me drastically sounds different. It doesn't even sound like it's similar. You know. For some reason, I want to keep going. To a different look that I must do a lot. But um, that to me already is a great way to kind of like, uh, you know. Uh... All right, and finally, what we're doing here is I want you to stretch the lick out. So everything that we've done has been pretty much in line with the scale. Even when we're skipping strings, you know, the licks are just kind of, they're what notes would be next in line. So what I want you to do is we're going to really stretch our hands out for this one. And uh, we're going to keep it in A minor. This is more kind of like A Aeolian than pentatonic. So I'm going to go in like this. So I'm really skipping, you know, quite a bit here. I'm going 12 to 10 on the, or sorry, 12 to 8 on the high string. I'm going to go 12, 8, 10. Back 12. Back to 8. And then 12 to 8. So. The second idea. Now we're gonna stretch out. Alrighty, guys. Thank you all so much for tuning in today. Hope you enjoyed this video lesson. Like I said before, uh, you can get tabs that are over on the website. You can grab those if you want to. Follow along with them. And there's just so many different ways you can apply, you know, the concepts to creating your own kind of like voice and style of playing the guitar. So other than that, I will see you all next time and have a great day. Hey there, don't want you to think that I forgot because we totally have more videos. Look, I did a video here. I might have even done a video here. I don't even know. Wait, I do know because these are totally my videos. And you can hit the subscribe button right here. New videos every single day from myself and a bunch of the other creators here on the, on the channel. And we'll be seeing you all very soon.